as I promised, I have one of the finishing uh, Ironman athletes inside the studio with me and a local man, Stephen Devereaux. Good afternoon, Steve. How are you Hi, today? Uh, how are you doing? How's the body? Uh, not too bad. Uh, IT band's a bit tight and back is a bit tight, but hey, great day. Got through it, so happy enough. We'll, suffer. we'll, we'll take the pain for what happened. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. It was horrendous conditions out there. There's no doubt oh, about horrendous that. Horrendous all the way out. It was, like, it was like coming at you, like ferocious rain with winds. And you just had to put down the head and just push on. But it was just, at times you were like, will I, will I pull out? Will I do this? Will I do that? But you just couldn't because everybody was, it was people edging on, edging on people. And yeah, it yeah, just, yeah. It, it kept, and the crowds, crowds were unreal. Yeah. I suppose initially in the morning, there was talks for a couple of days about the water temperature and all that, but that, that was all put to bed fairly early Sunday morning when, when they see, well, we was, was dis- were you disappointed? Or, or You would be disappointed because you wanted to get a swim. And I thought Saturday we are going to get some kind of a swim. I thought we might get a 1K swim or we might get 1,500. But when you looked <coughs> at the swell out there, it, it, it was dangerous. Yeah, it was. The, it it like, was the right call, I think, wasn't it? Oh, it was. For we safety, were swimming safety. there for the last four weeks, and every time you came out, I usually you could stand around in June and have chats and have a bit of banter. You were coming out, and you were just into your jeep and then into your cars and yeah. back the road home because it was. It was. You were actually shivering. Yeah. But the water did warm up in the last week. But it came down. They didn't. Didn't with swell and then. Like if if you came out of that water yesterday, you would have been fine. You got on. You would have gotten on your bike out to Ballymacoyle, and by the time you hit Ballymacoyle, there was fifty ambulances coming out there because people would have just dropped. Yeah, because that wind chill. It was. It 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 it's warm when you're standing, uh, and 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 there was humidity. But when wind and rain is coming at you, you're cold. Yeah, 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 and, and it does. It take it takes a while for you to warm up. I, I, in those conditions, As you, you know never yourself, really. You cycle like you yeah. know yourself when you're going on a bike in the morning. If say you go on a training session in the morning at six o'clock, it'll going to take you a good half an hour to get warm. Yeah, up. yeah, yeah. And but I don't care winter summer. It, it's oh, it does, yeah. And I mean, yeah. in those conditions, you're never going to get warm, really, because the oh, damp no, has gone straight into you, yeah. Your hands, like yesterday, your hands were so cold that actually at some point you had to bring over your right hand over to the left side of the bike to change the gears because yeah. your, your, your left hand wasn't reacting. You couldn't push it. Yeah. You know, when you're pushing into high gear, it was actually hard. And you were like, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. <laughs> what, are you, what am I going to do? I, I'm coming to a hill. i got to change it. Yeah. And get up that hill, and all of a sudden the gears on change, and then people's brakes started going because of the. Way. And actually, if your brakes were good, it was so wet they were squealing. Yeah, yeah. So you come into the 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 hill out and out down into inch. Now that's a big hill, and it's good. You get good good speed when down there. It was a river running down there. Mm. As I said, well. I feel like thought he saw a fish passing at one point. It was so bad. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And like, we, d- we, didn't, we d- couldn't appreciate what, what was like out along the course, like from where we were in Yall. Oh, it was horrendous. But, but um, I seen out there, like it, the, 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 the way people reacted. Like I came along and, and there was two Americans coming over a cottage and there was an old woman saying, are you all right now? They were after mm. going in there. They, they got socks, they got whiskey, they got hot water bottles. Yeah. Just the people in these cock, they just, they just rallied. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I, and it is something about it. I mean, if it was a fine, if it was a, go, a great day like this today, we, we might Would have even got the it. Same? No. I, I don't think so, you I know, don't because think so. I think the just, weather. Yeah, yeah. You thought, I thought now yesterday morning, I said to myself, when they, I walked up and my wife was involved and she was standing there and I walked up and I was the first to get the, because I, I, she says to me, I said, what's going on? I think the swim is cancelled. So I said, is this going to be a disaster or what? Yeah. But no, it, it just, whatever happened, people just rallied around it, they yeah. got on with it, and it was the right call. I, I think as Iron Man's go, really, it, it was a one off. Like, I mean, like, you you never, just, you, just no one going to forget this one. You'll never forget this one because this one was, uh, the, the swim was out, but this one was, guy said to me that, done, that have done Barcelona and all the big ones. This was the toughest one they ever yeah. did. Yeah, and, and and that's uh, that's what I've look, looking at social media anywhere like they can take the Iron Man up, but it was it just yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. And like as we just spoke there earlier about the, the support, the support around the place, it was phenomenal, wasn't it? Jeez, all of these, I mean, y'all, y'all was unreal. I mean, going up that windmill hill, it was like it was like the Tour de France. They were up on top of you, they were pushing you, they were shouting, yeah, they were screaming, but they got you up the hill. 
they got you up there and when you got to the hill there was a big roar I mean you could I was coming down by coming into y'all by the red store I could hear the noise over there really yeah I could hear it yeah. I could hear the noise and I was saying what's that what's going on over here yeah. but when you turn onto it it was unreal As, and then somebody said to me today they said you're going to have to put a sign outside y'all another year or two saying welcome to y'all the home of Windmill Hill Yeah. because Windmill Hill if this tra- if this Ireland keeps going, which it will because it's such a, a success, Windmill Hill is going to come famous all over the world. It is. It is, it is famous it is. already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's no doubt about that. In, yeah. in, in, in the Ironman world, anyway, everyone knows about even, it. Even the, the, uh, Brown Lee was on about it. Yeah. He said it was unreal. Really, yeah. yeah and I, I have stories about people coming around the corner and actually busting into crying tears because of the emotions really? of when they saw the crowd up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, it, like it, it, it. I mean, I've never witnessed anything like it. And I, I've been to lots of different sports all around, everywhere now. But like, the support that was there, to, I, I, I was actually buzzing. This, it was absolutely together. fantastic. And actually, I, I've never seen that 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 cl- every club in this town just came together. Yeah, y'all, AC, Robbie. I, I might be forgetting a few, but but there was oh, no, yeah, exactly everyone came in, everyone put everyone together. Rallied, like, it's it's a long, long time since something like that happened in the town. And, and yeah, you know, and it's, it was brilliant to brought the it brought yeah, the whole community and, and fair play to all the the, the organisers that brought it. The, the they did people, a great job, the, phenomenal job. Like I haven't seen my wife in a year, but uh, I think <laughs> I do another one. I might get another year on that one. <laughs> <laughs> She'll kill me for saying that. <laughs> but you know, you know what? It, it is like, and I, I suppose just fair credit to all of those people as well. That you know, oh, behind the scenes. Great. I mean, there's, like you said, it was, it was Ricky and John Innes. And but Brian, not even a, a those, lot, not, not I know they're, they're probably getting the pundits for a lot of it, yeah. but there was a lot, lot more. But the guy it. standing on the street handing out the cups, so the guy directed yeah. the guys, even the guys over in the transition, that's probably never did this before, but they were so professional. Yeah, yeah. They helped everyone. They, they, when you came in, a lot of people got off the bikes and you were actually you were actually on the point of you were shivering yeah so you needed to heat up they gave us the blankets and they put us into a warm room really warm. yeah oh yeah I went in there it was it was great crack it was like a pub there was about 20 guys <laughs> from y'all in there and, I, and we were all like telling jokes and a big laugh and right come on well, let's go do this back out and all onto the yeah, bikes yeah 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 it yeah. was just it was I won't forget it yeah I, I, I really enjoyed it I didn't at the time it was well it was brutal like, but I suppose that's the kind of when you do these things at the time you're going to you're going to through, you're going through the pain you're going to suffer like, well, you're going to suffer yeah. you, you've been there you've, yeah. been, you've done running through deserts and yeah, you've yeah. been there but as you say a week later you forget about it oh, like, you, you, you forget the pain very easy yeah, yeah. you forget the pain and, and yeah. I suppose that begs the question then would you, I, 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 would you do another one well, it's been a, it was a long year. It was a year's training, and I spent six months in London, and that was tough because I was walking from I was getting up at half five in the morning, plus or Europe, yeah, plus, yeah, yeah. You come from plus from background, and starting work at at seven and finishing at se- six at night, and not getting home back to the hotel till eight, and then going training for two hours, and then trying to get nutrition after that. Ten o'clock at night in London, very difficult, yeah. And all the, all I was eating was it was rubbish. Because I couldn't get the good nutrition. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then came back and went on night shifts on a, a big job in 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 Mallow. It was a tough year, but I'd go through it again. Just, yeah, just, would you? Yeah, just, yeah. Just, uh, I'd like to do the swim. I'd like to get the swim. I suppose. Yeah, you just yeah, you like just to have to swim. tick that box tick and that box. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because we did walk hard for the swim. Yeah. yeah, and I suppose like it was great. Um, y- y- how many was there was eight, was there seven or eight, nine uh, locals did it from your know, south coast or? Oh, I'd say about twelve or twelve. Was they? Yeah, 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 yeah. and all finished as well. Like, yeah, a good and all finished and all, all, all did very well. Excellent. But I suppose out, out of this, Steve, uh, like there's going to be a lot more interest in this next year and local, locally oh, as well. Interest, I think. Yeah. I think there's going to be. Look at what brought into the and what it brought, into oil, what it brought yeah. in everywhere else. Yeah. I mean, you went the streets. The place was packed, and even. Even the two weeks before, and even the time before it, every time you drove, even around January, February, March, you were driving around the town, you could see yeah. different clubs yeah. in the town. Yeah. They were here and they were. And I suppose, Steve, just give, give people an idea what kind of training goes into something like this. Like, what, like, you know. Like, like you're, like putting it, it, three, you're putting three, you're putting 
the swim, the run, the bike together, and and you you have a week's training to do that. So you're talking about you need a day for recovery. They say two days, would you take the one day? And some weeks you don't even take recovery because you're pushing on. Mm. So you're you're trying to get some mornings you're up at six in the morning, you're in the pool. Then at night you go to work, you come home at night, you're out running. Yeah. Then after the run, and then you're trying to get your bikes in, and they're not small bikes. They're not like training for a sprint triathlon or for an Olympic triathlon where you can go up the killer or out the castle yeah. mountain, yeah. out the Middleton, and, and and speed walk all the way back. These are big rides. Like these are, are over hundred k. So you're talking at night time, in the middle of and your lights on and everything. Yeah. And then it's the nutrition. It's getting the nutrition into you and and the recovery. As I said, like you cheat. But you have to cheat because you're like, I have to get this done, I have to get that done, and you're following a plan. And some people might, might say, oh, I won't do that tonight, but other people, then oh, you'll be very like disciplined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. have to be disciplined. And you come in from work at night, you walk in the door at six o'clock. Usually, you walk in, the, when people walk in the door, they sit down, cup of tea. Chat with the kids. How'd you gone today? How was school? No, you yep. came in the door. You're out training. Upstairs, bike gear on, running gear on. I grabbed your wetsuit. You were training. Yeah, and yeah. That was it. Yeah. And it was hard on families. Yeah. And then it's hard. It's hard on. It's financially. It's a, it, it's another thing too. Because if you get injured, you could be in. You could be going for physio for three, four weeks. Yeah, yeah. That's fifty pops ago. Fifty euros ago. Yeah. Financially, then when you're coming up to it, you need this, you need that, you need your bike gear. It's a huge, it. huge commitment. Oh, there's no thing. speed suits out. I need a speed suit. Speed yeah. suit is 180 euros. Yeah, yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. And then you're looking at you. You're saying, "Do I have this? Do you know what I mean? Can I spend this? The, the, she needs a new communion dress. This fellow needs a uh, confirmation." <laughs> <laughs> there's always something. There's yeah. always and something. I, suppose, I suppose when you're doing something like this, uh, you you are really being selfish. Like aren't you've you? been, you're being very selfish. Yeah. you're being very yeah. selfish. And when you're out there and you expect to come home and uh, after the training session and have good food, like I mean, you're yeah. not talking about you can't have fish fingers and chips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. you're talking about yeah. good nutrition. Yeah. So. You expect your wife to have that on the table for you. And I suppose you're, lucky, that's not you're, you're lucky, I suppose, then in that Ricky and your family are all very involved in, in this involved, kind of, yeah. uh, you so know, in this kind of thing. So sense. you're lucky that way, but there's a lot of people there. I know other guys that would, they, they, they were on the verge of divorce. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Iron Man, yeah. what is an Iron Man? Some of them didn't even know what an Iron Man was. And no, but no, they know because yeah. they know what their husbands and their wives yeah. went through. No, really. But another thing that struck me yesterday as well, Steve, was, was the, the 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 people competing and the athletes competing all different shapes, sizes, ages. Oh, to everyone. It's you know, and that, and that, that's brilliant. it was really amazed amazed it's, me, like you it's know, a kind of a sport where where anyone can do it. Yeah, and, and I think even the commentators said at one stage that the forty to forty four bracket was actually the the biggest entry in that bracket. Yeah, that you know, would be the most. Yeah, yeah. and uh, the fifty to fifty five, so they'd be like, as you said, uh, from forty up, it seems to be where people are coming in and saying, "Right, I want to try this." But I always said somebody misunderstood. I I put a, a post up on Facebook one night, and it was misunderstood. I said anyone can do an arm, mm. but people came in and said, well, "What do you mean anyone can do an arm?" You have twelve till twelve midnights from the time to do. But what I was saying, if you can make the the cutoffs, if you can make the cutoffs, you can do an arm. Mm. If you can make the cutoff in the swim, if you can make the cutoff in the bike, and if you can make the cutoff in your runs, you can do an arm. I don't care what what size you are, what back yeah. your ground you're coming from. Yeah. If you're de- dedicated, you can get in and do it. Now, Brownlee won yesterday in what seven something. Uh, the last finisher was after midnight. Yeah, you put his medal and her medal together, or, or his medal, whoever finished that mid- after midnight. They're the same size. Yeah, you can measure them. They say the same thing. And and, and that is because to, to that Dean Carnes is actually you might have heard of him. He's he's an ultra marathon runner, American, big big name like that, and. Um, he was in one of the the, the desert runs that I did, and. Uh, and we're just talking to him. It's amazing how you can do that. You know, he he was running 
kind of four and a half hours or something like that, a marathon through the desert. Like, yeah. he said, that's, that's not amazing. The amazing people, the people are out there for eight or nine, ten hours. Th- yeah. That's amazing. That and and, and that's, that's the same last night. Like, I yeah. mean, Brownlee and all these people are professionals, fantastic achievements. Yeah. But it's the people are coming in 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 they're hours the out there. They're, yeah. they're, they're, they're Ironmen. They're Ironmen, yeah. yeah. They're Ironwomen. And they're, yeah. they're the kind of people that, that you see them. But they'll get through. I mean, I saw one girl out there yesterday and, and she wasn't she wasn't small, like. But she got through it. Yeah. She got on the yeah. And, and, to, and it was great as well to see, you know, just supporting out up the hill there and you could see the, the name things and, the, and the, that's a brilliant idea. Yeah, and yeah, and you know, you're just, just shouting out the name. Yeah, yeah. And, and you could see a bit of a kick. There's always something yeah, that looked fantastic. Gets, yeah, it gets you going. It pulls you on. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, but yeah. The, the people in Yall and the people from East Cork that came into Yall, I mean, I went through Middleton. I went through Middleton and I went through Battle of and I thought Middleton was quiet. But as somebody said to me after, Middleton wasn't, wasn't quiet. Middleton was quiet because all of Middleton was in you all. Yeah. Because yeah. they wanted to be up in Windmill Hill. Yeah. They wanted to be where uh, you are an arm and yeah, was announced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wanted to be in there. Yeah. But if it wasn't rain and that heavy, I would have said that Middleton would have been packed with the person who was like, let's go down and take a look. Exactly, but yeah. That person yeah, yeah. was sitting at home going, no, the weather's too bad. Yeah, we have yeah. to drag the kids down with us. Whereas the people who wanted to go were in y'all. But as I said, Bally McCorda, there was crows in Bally McCorda. But the whole village was on jobs. They yeah, were, yeah. They were out yeah. on roads. They, they did a great job. Like, and Klein did a great job. But the people who live in those villages were out doing jobs. Yeah. Know what I mean? Do you, yeah. understand, do you understand what I'm saying? They, they, they had good crowds in there and you thought it was going to be... But no, they were out doing their jobs. And and, and, uh, and all those jobs were vital to you taking part? Oh, they were. They, they, they were the people that made it happen. Yeah. Know yeah. what I mean? They're yeah. the people that, is, that you get on to. They're the people that step forward and say, right, we'll get this done. Yeah. Like you you have all these little villages that we went through. Unreal. Yeah. Unreal. And to, no, next year it is, it is fixed for the twenty first of June. Yeah. So I, I suppose if if people are interested in it, I, I mean I know it does, there's a, a tri club here in town. What, what what's what's the what's what's the procedure if someone is interested in doing an Ironman or maybe taking part well, in they triathlon? Can, anyone can join South Coast. Just approach members, like uh, uh, and everybody's welcome. I mean, from uh, but what you do is you you you'll just have to. What I would say to people is, if you are interested in this kind of thing, start, but start with a sprint, train away for a sprint. Sprint is uh, it's a seven fifty swim, a twenty k bike, and a five k run. Mm. No, that's achievable to anyone. Yeah, yeah. So you start at that. You join the club, and there's plenty of people there to give you advice. Yeah, and it's free. There's nobody saying, oh, you have to pay this, you have to pay that. You yeah. pay your membership. You can call Johnny or you can call Stevie. You can call Tommy. We'll all tell you what to do and, what, and how to do it. So there's, n- there's not a problem. Then go from that to up to Olympic. Try the Olympic and see how you get on with that. I did two arm, two half armen before I did this. Uh, one in th- was the last sheep. Great, great one. Done later, it was another one. And then just get to that point where you think, right... An arm, and I think I can do an arm. Right? Yeah, yeah. And there's plenty of people in y'all at the moment who have the knowledge to tell you what to do. Yeah. Well, well, that's it. Like the the, the experience is there now from a lot of people. Yeah, and, you and, know. and 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 to encourage you how to do it. Yeah. And that's yeah. that's what that's what gets you there. I mean, I only started swimming five years ago. I couldn't s- swim from <laughs> me to you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I was up in. Uh, I remember one time I was up in Lockery. And uh, it was a it was a, a sprint triathlon, and it's probably my second one. I was in there. I was actually drowning <laughs> inside in the lake. I was drowning. Right. And before the the thing, they said, right, if anybody gives abuse to a steward today, they're disqualified. So I was drowning in the lake. This fella comes up in the canoe and he says, he says, uh, you have two minutes to get out of there. He says, you're 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 cut off time. And I said, where did you go away and have? <laughs> for yourself yeah waiting for him to disqualify me go away and he looked at me he goes right good luck he left <laughs> me there drowning because if I got disqualified I would have said right I'll hang on to your, your canoe there and bring me in yeah yeah yeah, so yeah 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 yeah, it's just getting used to salt water and getting used to lakes and get, and you will get used to it yeah 
I mean, you you won't if you put on a triathlon wetsuit, you will not go down the water. You will actually float. You'll float. Know what I mean? So, yeah. if you get just get used to sea, being out in the sea, if you stop and think about it, as I said, when you're out in forty feet of water, just keep swimming. Don't stop. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, if you yeah, stop yeah. and you're thinking about it, it's probably a scary experience. But if you just keep swimming, you're, you're not going to put your head down. You're <laughs> not going to be. I wanted to see sand on there. You're fine. But I would say there's a lot of people now around the place and after yesterday they want to get into this and I think they should get into yeah. it if they want to. And, and that's if it. anybody and, and wants, they can call me anytime and I would tell them, I would give, give a support to them and tell them what to do. Well, on that note, Steve, thank you very much for coming in. I know it's a short notice, but I really appreciate it and, and well done yesterday. You know, it was thank you, really special to see it yesterday and, so, and well I done was, again. It was, it, was, it was epic. Good man. Cheers. Thank Thanks, you. Steve. Thank Bye. you.